Friends, welcome back to our channel Learn with Gigs. In this video, I have invited Sarat, who started his journey by preparing for UPSC for a few years, but finally he ended up with a job at Google. And most importantly, he got this job as a data analyst and as a fresher. So this video will be very important for you all. So do watch this video completely till the end because we will discuss what all skills are required, what is the difficulty level of the interview, how he crafted his resume, all those things we will discuss in this video. So don't skip a single second of this video. So let's start the video and before that if you're new to the channel then do subscribe it and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the coming useful videos because you won't find the content like this anywhere else on YouTube. Plus you can also follow me on Instagram where you will find job related updates regularly as well as short videos on data analytics domain. And friends do hit the like button of this video because it is completely free for you and your one like will give me the motivation to create more videos like this. Now let's head towards the main session. Uh, hi Sarath, how are you? Hi, I'm good. Uh, thank you. How are you? I'm also doing good. So Sarath, I've already told the audience, I've given the introduction about you. So let's start with the first question. So basically throw some light on your educational background. Background. How did you start it and what all things, what was your highest degree? Uh, so uh, my schooling and also my graduation was from Kerala itself. That's my uh, that's my state. So uh, after that, like uh, for my schooling, I, my schooling span across three different schools. And uh, for my graduation, uh, I, I I graduated in B.Sc. Mathematics from Kerala University in uh, 2020. And after that, I was preparing for the exams and. Uh, Basically, you are from B.Sc. background. Your passing year was 2020, right? Yeah. So as I've already told the audience that you have been preparing, like you started your journey for by preparing for UPSC. So how did it all started and what happened actually? So uh, my UPSC journey, actually it was not a, a childhood dream as many people say. And UPSC was never in my dreams or in my list uh, until my last uh, year in my college. So what happened is in uh, I was about to pass out in 2019. But uh, what happened like I, uh, I got a paper back in uh, my final year. And uh, I had to wait one year to write the paper again as per Kerala University rules. So I had nothing like I was uh, stunned and I I, I, didn't, I don't know what to do at that time. So like people like even my parents were just disappointed in me. So uh, I was so I, I was determined to uh, it was all my fault actually like I enjoyed my college days uh, like anything. So I just lost my last paper. But uh, I was then I was determined to uh, like show something like I should I, I should do something to make uh, my parents proud again. So I uh, I just decided to take up the uh, toughest exam in India, like UPSC. So I started like I uh, from uh, from my uh, school days only. I just I was I was in, I have interest in uh, social science. So I just tried for UPSC. So uh, yep. um, uh, during during that, like during my one year gap of 2019-2020, uh, I started preparing for UPSC. Like I started my own preparation. Like I don't uh, take any coaching or not. Just uh, try to learn about the paper. Try to uh, read more and uh, watch more about how the exam is. Try to learn the basics. And uh, as you all know, this 2020 was a year of COVID. So the right. exam was also shifted. So. Uh, what happened like in November, I was you know, reluctant to give the exam because of the COVID and I was very underprepared as well. So uh, what I did was I prepared one when, one year like for 2021, I, I was ready to give and I prepared for whole year and I gave the exam and uh, it, it came up like uh, disappointing results. Like I couldn't pa uh, pass the prelims only. So I was very broken and then uh, I decided to like shift from UPSC to try smaller exams like uh, railways or SSEs. Uh, so in that uh, to regain my confidence, I, I tried on that exams. Then uh, I, was able, I was able to actually uh, like crack some of the uh, prelim stages of many, many exams, but I was not able to uh, like go further. Still, mm -hmm. then uh, as, as I was cracking uh, like small exams, I again started my preparation and focused more on UPSC. So uh, for 20, uh, like I was uh, hoping to give on 2022, but again, uh, I couldn't give the exam because of my personal health issues. Uh, then um, all the thoughts came up, like how long should I give this uh, government exams? Or my age is also going up and I should, I should step up my game. So that's how I turned from UPSC to okay. uh, tech. So overall, how many years went? Uh, so I think 2020, 2021 yeah. and 2022, right? Yeah, yes. 
three years. Overall, overall three years. Okay. Yeah. So how you got motivated to a data analytics to me because you were doing so much of hard work right for UPSC and now suddenly you shifted something like you shifted to yourself toward IT IT domain basically right and why did you choose data analytics only? Okay. Uh, first thing is I uh, I am not from a tech background, so obviously uh, data analytics is kind of a comparatively in tech. It is a less coding uh, area. So I I uh, I found data analyst I I like a area where I can try like uh, as a backup plan for my UPSC. Like uh, I was preparing for the exams, but I uh, always in my mind I uh, it was like we need to have a backup plan. So uh, I just uh, like started watching uh, some of the videos in YouTube and uh, the recommendations videos about data analytics. Uh, and the thing is that when I was preparing for UPSC only, like I was very uh, kind of a debate, debating person. So I used to uh, have debates with my friends. And uh, so in that time, I like to prove my points with numbers like facts and figures. So usually I used to do some uh, like searching for data numbers and all before going for debates and all. So that actually uh, was in me. And also I'm from a Max background. I like Max from my childhood. So both of this uh, actually make up this uh, domain. So I decided to come to data analytics and uh, like uh, I started watching videos and I, I, I still remember my first data analytics. Like uh, I uh, go to collect some data from uh, internet, like Wikipedia and do some, uh, some like data wrangling in uh, Excel. That was the beginning. Then okay, so after, after 2022, you decided, okay, after some uh, kind of research, you decided that, okay, I will go for data analytics. I will step up into data analytics domain, right? Yeah. So after that, uh, what all skills you targeted and how much time did it took to prepare all those skills? Okay. Uh, so like, uh, like I said, I haven't given, given up my preparation at that time. Still, I was just, uh, taking my, uh, free time or some of the, uh, time when I was exhausted from studies, I decided to do it some, uh, some like learnings, like make my, my, my make myself productive as well. So, uh, I decided to watch some, I have some knowledge about Excel from the beginning. And so still I uh, used to watch some random uh, Excel videos and formulas and how to data cleaning and all the things, ex especially from the YouTube channel of Chandu and uh, uh, some other uh, YouTube channels. I used to refer like randomly to learn Excel. Then uh, while learning Excel only, I came across Power BI. So Power BI was the first major tool I uh, learned as per this, uh, like uh, as a data analyst. So. Uh, for, for Power BI, uh, I started uh, with How to Power BI uh, YouTube channel and I, and also I have watched many other uh, YouTube videos as well and I started to make some uh, like collect some data and work on Power BI itself. So while learning Power BI, I came like I realized that for uh, a further like a deeper knowledge or deeper uh, like usage of Power BI, we need to have a knowledge in Excel. Uh, sorry, uh, SQL. So I uh, decided to learn SQL. I started with basic things like uh, very basic um, uh, uh, syntax and all. I started learning that. So overall Excel, Power BI and SQL. Yeah. And you learned it from YouTube only. Right? Yes. From different channels as you mentioned. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And how much time did you uh, give for the learning part? So usually I used to do it on week, uh, weekends, like on Sundays and Saturdays, like uh, major, like when I was not studying for the exam, I used to do like I used to uh, dedicate like uh, dedicate few hours for just, uh, the Power BI, especially like when I was learning Power BI, I I like uh, I got in love with it. It is a, it's a very good tool to have. Like I like to do some kind of graphics work also, uh, as well. So I, uh, I I was quite interested in Power BI. So I dedicated few hours of my uh, from my exam schedule to this in the week weekends. So yeah, like overall we can say I have uh, almost two days in a week. And uh, if I talk about in a number of months you gave. Uh, months. Uh, maybe up to six months, I can say, but it was not a proper, proper uh, yeah, data yeah. I mean, kind of, yeah. So. so overall, approximately six months we can yeah. consider, right? Yes. Considering yes. all the skills like Excel, SQL and Power BI. Yes. Okay. Now, how did it all started about Google? Like So uh, in 2022, there was, there was a point in my life that I uh, had to step up of my, uh, step up my game. So that also uh, some issues with my uh, family as well. So I have to, I cannot just sit in home and prepare for the exam. So I had to do something. So I decided to apply for jobs. So I started applying for jobs in LinkedIn. 
and also nakari so uh, what happened is that when i was surfing through linkedin for this um, like jobs uh, i came across one post called uh, opportunity for freshers at google so actually it got my eye and i decided to like i just went to that link and read about all this pro- all this program and i was like okay anyway i'm a fresher and i had some uh, like 3 years of gap in my resume so i have nothing to show there so i was like uh, okay i will try this maybe this is a career launching program maybe i could get in and uh, i can kick kick start my career as a data analyst so, so that's is, the so it is basically data analytics apprentice program right yeah. in google yeah. yes okay so what is the eligibility criteria for this program okay so uh, when i was uh, uh, playing if i could remember it properly it was uh, maximum one year of experience and a graduation and strong communication skill uh, i i don't know the uh, exact one currently because uh, if you check at the website you could uh, like uh, get more information about that so does it happen every year uh, it was happening every year now they are starting it for 6 months every 6 months they are taking in one okay so this program is started like it is frequently happening now after every 6 yeah. months So yeah. people have to just go to their website and just research about this program and yeah. apply accordingly whenever it is coming right yeah and it's it's it will be available in uh, google careers page and you can check like every 6 months there will be applications and the recent one uh, closed very like on december 15th only so uh, it's a very good program to actually start up like uh, have a good career path like when when and career uh, and career career gap doesn't matter like as you said you were also having three years of gap so career gap doesn't matter right uh, actually career gap, uh, it's it's according to the resume like when you you will when you get the interview call and all you will have to uh, like how it's about how you perform in the interviews and all like uh, so if you convince about your gap right yeah yes and for the graduation part like any graduate can apply yes and if i talk about your resume so you directly applied through their portal right yes i did so you must have uploaded your resume right yeah so how did you crafted your resume yeah for my resume like uh, i uh, for as you said i was just uh, preparing for exams and i don't have any experience i uh, just noted down my uh, like Uh, achievements like uh, some like i have done some of the projects in power bi like uh, when i was doing uh, my studies of like when i was learning power bi i did some of the uh, like sample projects i just showed that in my resume that i have done all this thing using power bi and this thing using excel uh, and this is the other projects using sql like i have just explained like uh, my uh, skills so basically what happened is like i couldn't uh, uh, like show any other work experience but uh, i think the uh, uh, the the projects that i showed my how work okay okay and for this particular program uh, like what all skills are required to uh, to apply okay uh, so this is basically a career launching as i said so mostly like you, if you have basic understanding of the tools that are required for this program that will be enough for you because and what, what are those skills what are those tools or skills like if you are trying for data analytics like uh, you should have uh, the uh, knowledge of this sheets or sql or like um, excel google sheets, google sheets excel yeah. sql yes so because i when i was uh, coming here i i have uh, very less idea about python and how to work on it for as a data analyst after coming here i like i got opportunity to learn more about it so it's kind of uh, a learning come work opportunity to do what exactly did you do in your resume that you only got your resume got selected can you throw some light on your resume any extra thing did you do uh nothing much because i just uh, like uh, as i as i told you already like i have uh, shown my projects that i did all this stuff then i sh- uh, i just give my communication and my uh, like uh, the the things i did in as volunteer in college or school nothing more than that uh, so it's about like you will be selected for the uh, initial uh, round of uh, google online challenge so after that how how it it uh, all depends on how did you perform okay so once your resume gets selected you are uh, like you are asked for some google online challenge right yeah so what what happens in that round so uh, basically the rounds are like uh, four uh, i would say uh, it start with challenge like uh, google online challenge where you have to solve some maths or reasoning kind of questions so if you close that there will be one phone in interview that phone interview is mostly to check your communication skills 
then uh, follow like after you close a uh, phone in interview you will have two face to face interviews and in the face to face interviews you, uh, you will be facing like uh, open ended questions like uh, analytical questions and uh, some medium level technical questions okay so guesstimates type of questions right uh yeah if you can say that okay and if you talk about technical questions so what all things they ask and like what all type of skills they ask in the technical yeah. uh are you as i told you like this is a this a very entry level or uh, learning come uh, work pro, uh, type of uh, project so so we but uh, the uh, the difficulty of the technical questions are very low so i think those with uh, some ideas of all these tools uh, can easily go through it okay. what was the difficulty level of the interview like if i talk about face to face interview okay uh, for the first one first first face face interview it was kind of easy but for the second i would say it's uh, medium to hard in range okay so overall four rounds of interview and yeah, does it happen on a single day or it happens gradually uh it actually uh, it happens across it can happens across three months it can ha- happens across like, like one month itself it's up to uh, the team like how you are uh, coming into the system and how your interviews are being scheduled okay once you got selected now if like uh, you have entered the data analytics program apprentice program so what are the things now you are working on in the in the program okay so uh, as far as like the program is concerned like we start with uh, learnings like uh, we have a section to learn stuff so starting with the learning first three months will be a learning session after that uh, we'll work on real projects like not it's not what, all, what all things do you learn in that three months training program uh it will be like uh, mostly how to uh, like do all the stuffs like uh, documentation and we will be uh, will will give they will give the um, uh, resources for uh, all the tools that we have to learn for our work okay sir so since you have joined google so how how your parents feel now because you wanted every like you want you told in the start you wanted to make them proud right so how yes. do they feel now yeah they are uh, very uh, uh, they are very happy they're like uh, i would say like last 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 before two weeks my mother came to the office as well i took her to office and i just had a tour with her okay. so uh, and i i would say that after like uh, my during the preparation time and my shift from uh, government jobs exams to the private they have been a very uh, supportive to me like uh, uh, they they are like they just uh, happy to uh, like accept anything that i uh, i want to do and also i would call my what two of my friends who are very very uh, supportive for me and i would take their names niti and abhijit uh, and they both were like very supportive and during the i i, I during i the offer that i got from google i talked to him and i i did i don't know like should i go or should i stay here for the exam as well he was the one who was giving me all the support that you should you should try this like if you are not getting something then you sh- if and some like if you are getting another uh, try or another pass to try you should do that so he, he was the one who was very supportive for me okay okay wonderful okay sir so uh, it was a great journey i would say because coming from a upsc background and then shifting towards id domain and especially as a freshman in data analytics domain and cracking google it's a very big thing that you have achieved so you should be proud of yourself so thank you so much for coming on to this show and uh, thank you so much for sharing your experience i think people will have a lot of insights from this video and they will definitely work hard to also work at google so thank you so much for coming sir thank you shashank thank you for uh, giving me this opportunity to be in your youtube channel